Hi everyone, I'm back today with another Project Life Process video for you. This is the second half of March 2020 and I'm just showing you that I'm using lots of bits from the September Lollipop Box Club kit. Um, I will mark this video as an ad because I am on the creative team um, for Lollipop Box Club but I am not required to make videos about the kits at all. I just felt like the theme of this kit was really perfect um, for the first <laughs> two weeks of lockdown because the kit was called Stay Cozy and it had lots of elements about staying at home. So yeah, it just seemed perfect um, because like I say, this was the first fortnight of lockdown in the UK and also I had just come out of hospital so I was very much um, recovering and trying to feel better and staying cosy at home. So yeah, I'm just making this little card here for uh, this picture of my new Switch. Um, Will very kindly got me a Nintendo Switch and Animal Crossing when it came out and it was just the best thing ever. Um, I played it every single day for hours for months on end. I don't play it as much at the moment since I've gone back to work but I definitely want to get back into it um, and it was just one of the highlights of lockdown for me. It really saved me from going crazy. Um, these little Animal Crossing stickers I think are from Jolly Sticks on Etsy and then I can't remember where that um, little Tom Nook one was from. Um, but I've used a little phrase like strip from the Lollipop Box Club kit and I'm just finishing it off with some enamel dots. And then this is a just a little collage of um, random things that were happening. So I had a massive bruise on my arm from where um, I had a cannula that went a bit wrong when I was in hospital. And then there's a collage of me and my friends on a video call because obviously video calls were a huge staple of lockdown and they're still very much a thing now um, for events that can't take place in person. And my friends and I had a weekly uh, lockdown video call. I have these little tiny thickers that I picked up in Hobbycraft the other day. I absolutely love them. Uh, one side they have pale pink alphas and then on the other side it's rainbows. Um, so I stuck with pale pink for this spread because it matched like all of the colours I was using. Um, and again that's another um, screenshot from that video call with my friends and I think I called it FaceTime fun or something like that. Um, and now I'm using these stickers from the Lollipop kit. Um, they are made by my lovely friend Anna over at Mrs Brimble's. Um, and she produces a beautiful sticker sheet for every box, which I love using. They're some of my favourite bits from the Lollipop kits, actually. So now I'm just working on this uh, photo on the bottom left. And again, I'm using some bits from the kit to create a little embellishment cluster. Um, I didn't have a lot to say about this particular uh, spread. Um, I think I will go back and do some more in-depth journaling at some point, but for now I didn't have a lot to say about it, so I was just creating a few um, cute embellishment clusters everywhere. Um, as you can see, I've just added some staples because in this month's box, we got some rose gold staples and I thought they would look really cute on some of these cards. Um, so I added those in. And then this that I'm working on now is actually a screenshot of the text message that the government sent everyone in the UK saying that we all needed to stay at home. Um, it was the day that the official lockdown began. So of course, that's a piece of history there. So I screenshot that text message and popped it into my project life and as you can see I used those thickers to spell out O oh. <laughs> with a sad face wood veneer um, because I think that's how everyone felt. Um, I've got our wedding invites there as well that I you know got ready and sent out and then the wedding ended up being postponed um, but at the time we were still fairly hopeful because the wedding was like um four and a half months away at this point so truly we just didn't think it was going to be affected um <laughs> but you know as we know now it definitely was um I've just used half of a circle sticker from that sticker sheet to create a little place for the date on this journal card and then I'm sticking a phrase sticker over the top I think I tried to use a staple and it um didn't go in properly or something like that I can't remember um, but as you can see, I've just stamped the date there and I'm going to 
journal my thoughts um, about when we went into lockdown on this card. Like I said, I didn't have loads to say because I feel like it's fairly self-explanatory, um, but I might go back and do another bit of in-depth journaling at some point like I did for the spread that documented my hospital stay. Um, if you missed that, I basically went onto my computer and typed up um, a whole two A4 pages of journaling about the whole story. Um, and I like doing that to really get my proper thoughts and feelings down about things. So who knows, maybe I'll do that at some point. Um, but for now, I have moved on to the next page of this spread. Um, and I'm doing another one of these little sort of like a filler card at the top just with one picture on it and I think it's a picture of me cuddling with Archie. When I'm recording a voiceover there's a big black box that pops up over the screen so I can't really <laughs> see what I'm doing sometimes um, but I'm using those thickers again to spell out lockdown life. I think that's what I spell out um, because snuggling with the dogs was definitely um, a staple part of my lockdown life, especially in the beginning. To be honest, snuggling on the sofa with the dogs is something that I do every single day anyway. But obviously when I was recovering from my hospital stay and we weren't allowed to go anywhere and nobody was allowed to come here, um, just lazing around on the couch was something that I did a lot. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out if I've got all those letters in the right place. I've added a little wood veneer um, arrow and then I'm stamping a date on there. I wasn't sure if I had the date 100% correct. I think some of the dates on these photos might be slightly wrong, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I've used some of those letter stickers and one of the circle stickers from the kit, um, just adding some enamel dots. And then I do a little bit of journaling at the end, I think I come back to that because I wasn't really 100% sure what I was gonna say. Just sticking down that photo of Winnie and using some more stickers from that sheet by Mrs. Brimbles. And then this tag, I had planned to create another little journaling spot with that. So I'm just gonna add some twine. I think I had it in my stash, but I'm pretty sure it is from um, another lollipop box club kit um just going through and sticking down all my photos now so that everything stops moving around so much um i'm quite a perfectionist and mess really bothers me so sometimes when i'm scrapping like this and the cards and the pictures are flying everywhere it really gets on my nerves so you will notice that sometimes i do go through and stick everything down quite early on so I've just spelled out home on the bottom of that tag as obviously this is documenting the beginning of lockdown and we were all stuck at home. Um, and I'm just adding a really simple embellishment to that little collage at the bottom. Again, like I've said previously, I just didn't have a lot to say about them. I feel like it's self-explanatory for the next couple of months even in this album. It's pretty much just photos of us at home because that's all we were allowed to do. Um, and that's why this kit was so perfect, really. Um, but I've just stuck one of my favourite stickers from the whole kit onto that card. And it's that little rainbow stack of books. I've done some journaling and then adding some more stickers and enamel dots to these pictures. Um, that one in the bottom right, I've added that banner and I write so many Zooms or something like that. Because that was another family Zoom, this time with Will's family. And now I'm completing my journaling on this card and again I think it was just about how lockdown life was a lot of snuggling a lot of resting a lot of recovering and here is the full close-up view of that first spread that I did um I really love those tiny alphas I'm so glad I bought those in fact I might have to go back to Hobbycraft and get some more because I just think they're absolutely perfect for project life normal sized thickers are a bit big for anything more than a title card but those are just absolutely perfect as you can see, I decorated my dresser for Easter, even though nobody was going to see it. <laughs> and then here is the second page of the spread. I love that lockdown life card. I think it turned out pretty cute. I love that um, circle T sticker. And there is the middle row. That photo of Winnie is so cute. She wraps herself up by, like that, by the way. <laughs> we don't do that to her. She does it herself. Um... And there's the bottom, which, like I said, I didn't really add anything to. More Easter decorations and video calls. <laughs> and then I just wanted to show that when I put it in the album, I actually did swap those two um, cards around on the top left because I felt like the um, meme card kind of 
gave it a bit more of a title card feel and fit better. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, if you have any questions as always, please do let me know and I will see you in my next one. Bye.